Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're unboxing Mini Art Soviet machine guns and equipment. Part of World War II military miniature sets from Mini Art, kit number 35255. The set contains only armament and is boxed in the standard package, similar to the one we have seen with the figure series from Mini Art. Glossy cover, soft sides and overall very nice appearance. It is not as light as the figure series though, since it includes more parts than what we get in these. The price is slightly higher too, but only slightly. On the sides of the box there are pictures of similar sets which are very interesting for those who want to put some stowage over their tanks or howitzers or want to make vignettes or dioramas. For example, Stuck 3's early versions, while used on Eastern Front, were stuffed with similar items on their backs and that made this kit especially interesting for me. I would love to build one such vehicle. The kit here, as well as the sets featured on the box sides, are very suitable for that purpose. On the back of the box we have the paint guide for the machine guns, each properly described with its exact name and number. We have one DHK suitable for IS-2 and IS-3 as well as for ISU-122 and 152. Then we have one light machine gun, DP version 7.62mm and one DT version, again 762 Alongside with those we have two options for the Maxim gun, which is pretty much equal looking, but they differ in model. One is from 1910 till 1930 and the other one is more modern, probably refined from 1940s. Both are wheeled and colored in the same way. Additionally, in the kit we have anti-tank rifle, PTR D41, ammunition belts and ammunition boxes, which are always very warmly welcomed accessories. There are four pieces of wooden ammo boxes, one canvas pouch and one bag for cartridges. Below, as expected, the paint guide featuring many paints among which Ravel, Tamiya, Testors and many more. Unlike the figure set, the assembly instructions are inside of the box alongside with the sprues which are packed in a plastic bag. There is a photo edge sheet inside too. Instruction sheet is black and white, featuring the sprue description first and simple icon guide. Then the assembly continues with the most complex gun of them all, the DHK. This one will gather the most attention too. It features many parts, among which photo edge and has wider use on self-propelled guns. Then it continues with the others, arranged by complexity, most complex the first. They all feature small details, but show nothing too complex overall, despite the small details seen. There will be some skills required for those builds, since they feature tiny and delicate parts, the photo edge, too. But if you have gone all the way to getting this kit, it is most probable that you know what you're dealing with. Photo edge parts are hard to be placed on the many tiny rods featured usually, but patience will close that deal too. The sprues are not few as I expected at first. There are a couple of repetitive ones as you can guess from the fact that we have close in appearance and double sets of weapons and ammunitions. The sprues are made from light grey plastic, with a match delicacy typical for mini art kits. The plastic is flexible and easy to work with, this being the new material that mini art are using for the last two years. Sprues are designed in a way to protect the parts and guarantee you the proper geometry at the end. Contents on the sprues are pretty much self-explanatory of course, since there are no complex sub-assemblies here. There are many tiny items and some long barrels, none of which shows bends or damage of any kind. Pouches and the backs show very nice curves and will be very pleasant to work with, especially when the weathering stages come close. Same goes for the wooden cartridges, which are corrugated and this is from both sides of them, so probably you will have the option to leave them open too. Wooden texture is superb for painting and weathering and this is pretty much the best you can get on the market, competitive only with resin, 
but a lot more flexible heel. Then we have the photo edge sheet. It is not a big one, but it's thin and very flexible. It features parts for most of the weapons included too. I believe Mini Art and Edward showed the best photo edge quality on the market today, setting new standards. Edward in terms of color and Mini Art in terms of thickness and detail. In conclusion, I want to say that this set is very interesting overall and for many, not only for Russian vehicle fans, it will be very useful. That being said, the usage will be quite wide and it can be embedded in many variations of dioramas and vignettes from the both sides, German or Russian. Mini Art lead the market in terms of accessories as they do items with perfect details, like for example the DHK gun here, which slams in the ground any competitors including resin and metal options available in the market today. I hope that you will find this review useful and will enjoy building this kit if you already have it. Thanks to Mini Art for the sample and thank you for watching. Comment down below, subscribe and hit the like button. Stay tuned for more and I will see you in the next one.